In this video, you'll see how to highlight numbers in a list of monthly sales. First, we'll highlight the top three numbers, and then we'll use a cell to set how many we want highlighted and highlight the lowest numbers. This is Deborah Dalgleish from Contextures.com. First, we'll highlight the highest three numbers in this list of monthly sales. And to do that, we're going to use conditional formatting and we'll set up a rule that's a formula using the large function. So in Excel, if I type equals large, it asks me to provide an array, a group of cells that I want to take a look at. And I'm going to select these cells with the monthly numbers. Now, because it's a table on the worksheet, large is able to use a reference to that table column. But in conditional formatting, we're going to use the cell references C2 to C13. Then I'll do a comma. And then we have to provide a number, which is the nth largest number that we want to find. So if we wanted to find the highest, we'd put a one. We want the top three, so we want to know what the third largest number is. So I'll type a three, close the bracket, and there's our third highest number. Now if I sort by the numbers, there's the third highest, which is in August. And I'll undo that, just so they're back in month order. So that's what we're going to be putting in our formula, but instead of this table column name, we'll use cell references. And what we want to do is compare each number in this list to this third highest and see if it's greater than or equal to that number. So to start the conditional formatting, I'm going to select all the cells that I want formatted. Go to conditional formatting, new rule. And in here, we're going to select use a formula to determine which cells to format. And there's a formula box here where we can type in our formula. And I'm going to start by typing equals. And the cell we're going to refer to is the active cell, which is this one. The others are in a darker shading and we can see the active cell address up here. So we're going to refer to that one and check to see if it's greater than or equal to. And then I'll type that large function here checking these cells and saying we want the third largest. Large, and then the range we want. And when we select in here, it will pick up the cell references instead of the table reference. Type a comma, then we'll type the number that we want the third highest, so three, and close the bracket. We want to format those cells, so I'm going to use a light green fill. Click OK and OK. And now the top three numbers are highlighted. Again, if I sort those in descending order, those three are the top three numbers. For the next example, we're going to look for the bottom numbers. What are the lowest numbers? Maybe we have to find out what happened those months. But instead of typing a number in our conditional formatting rule, we're going to set up a cell on the worksheet where we can type a number and adjust the number that are highlighted without going back into the formula. So here I'm going to type how many. And in this cell, I'm going to type a two just so we can do some testing. We can come back and change that later. And I will center these, put a border around them, and this cell I'm going to make yellow so that it stands out and people notice that they can type a number there. Last time we used large because we wanted to find the top three numbers and this time we're going to use the small function which is very similar but looks for the smallest nth number. So in here we'll just try it on the worksheet equals small and just going to select these cells and again it picks up the table reference the comma now instead of typing a three like we did last time or some other number we're going to click on this cell and I'm going to lock that by pressing F4 
So that's an absolute reference. Close the bracket. So that right now is our second highest number. If I put them in ascending order, there it is. So now I'm going to set up a conditional formatting rule that uses small and refers to this cell. I'll start by selecting the cells that I want formatted. On the Home tab, Conditional Formatting, New Rule, select Use a Formula to determine which cells to format. And in here we're going to put our rule that compares C2, our active cell, with the smallest number based on what's in this cell. So I'll start by typing equals C2. We want to know if it's less than or equal to that third smallest number. And we're going to find that number with the small function. Select the cells where the numbers are and it puts in the reference for us. Then a comma. And this time we aren't going to type a number here. We're going to click on cell E2 and to put the absolute reference in there for us. Close the bracket. And I want to format these. And lower numbers aren't too good, so I'm going to go with an orange format as a kind of a warning color. Click OK. Click OK. And now the two lowest numbers are highlighted. If I sort A to Z, those are the two smallest numbers. And if I change this to a 4, it automatically changes the number that are highlighted. And if I want to temporarily get rid of the highlighting, I can type a 0 there. And it can't show the 0th lowest number. You can see the error here on the worksheet formula. So it just removes the highlighting until we put some number back in that cell. For more Excel tips and tutorials, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.